Hi, friends! It's Mrs. Hill! Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are listening to another book with me today. Today's book is super funny. Again, another fart book. This one is titled, Harvey the Heart Had Too Many Farts by the author, Jane Bexley. Today's super special shout out goes to Nora. Nora, I am so glad that you love listening to my books. And I know you're going to appreciate this story since you have three older brothers. Thank you for listening, and I know you're going to love it. Let's get started. Harvey the Heart had an interesting problem. Way too much tooting would blast from his bottom. He didn't think that his gas was too icky. But others, he learned, were way much more picky. A day at the playground could quickly turn sour when trapped in a toot cloud with toxic smell power. A picnic was planned in the field by the trees, but it ended early thanks to his bum breeze. <coughs> Library time was for quiet and wonder, until his burrito ignited bum thunder. His friends would complain when he let his bum groan, that farting and tooting should be done alone. <laughs> there has to be someone, he cried to the sky, who won't run away if I let a fart fly. Have you met that new girl? Timmy inquired. Later, said Harvey, I'm too sad and tired. Timmy exclaimed, She just let out a whopper. That got his attention. Someone please stop her! Wait! He caught her. I'm Harvey the Heart. I have a weird question. Did you just fart? I'm Susie, the circle, and yes, that was me. But you're not embarrassed, he sighed. I would be. She told him, no bum could be perfectly mute. We each have a booty. We all need to toot. I try to be thoughtful and take them outside. But if one slips out, I just take it in stride. Harvey was shocked. She could fart and feel free? He tested a toot. Her eyes filled with glee. <coughs> Can you keep a big secret? She whispered down low. I think farting is fun. Would you also say so? What did she say? Did she say she liked tooting? He pictured her joining in bum cannon shooting. He dreamed of the things they could do with no fear of the smells and the sounds that could blow from his rear. They'd capture their fumes in a hot air balloon. They'd soar past the clouds and go straight to the moon. Then after their trip through the sky and the stars, they'd race at the track in their gas-powered cars. How great would life be with a good friend who knew all your perks and your quirks and liked the whole you. You still with me? She asked. His dreams came to an end. Oh, I'm with you, 
he said. To his future best friend. Thank you, Jane, for adding some humor into our day. That was a super funny book, and I hope you loved it too. Jane has other books about farts. I will link all of her information in the description box below where you can purchase this book or one of her other books for your very own library at home. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and I hope you'll join me in my next book reading. Have a good one. Bye.